Soccer is one of the biggest sports for participation in the United States. Nearly 17 million kids and adults play soccer in this country. Hundreds of children spend their weekends on area soccer fields, but a group of professionals is now introducing a new brand of soccer to the kids. It's called street soccer. It's an international game with a certain flair. Joe Vignoski, a man with some flair himself, is on the scene in Maumee where the players have all the right moves. It's called street soccer. I don't quite know the moves, but after a week at camp, I'll be an expert like the rest of them. It's a soccer camp like no other. Hi, I'm Max and this is street soccer. In the morning and just look to the sky and let the whole world know that I'm on my ground. I wake up early in the morning and just look to the sky. I wake up early in the morning and just look to the sky. Dipping low, ducking five oh, sucking smoke from a drawer that is high. Oh, came on a boat, fresh from Cairo. He's my test muscles, refresh my high flow, making green crab backs look like Cairo. I jet lead that man with my eyes closed, covered with blindfolds, loosen the chains on my tongue. I tell her on the mic and it's done. I illuminate rooms just like the sun. People move to the drums as my voice boom like a gun, prodigal son. You say rap, but compare me to Shaolin monks trained by great masters. Sharing the blood, splitting open a dutch. A piece with the mental beast like a Buddhist monk. Vision with the sniper's fiber optic option. Neutralizing venomous vipers, toxins. Through the wrong door, yeah, that's how I'm rocking. I wake up early. Early in the morning, I just look to the sky and let the whole world know that I'm on my grind. I wake up early in the morning, I just look to the sky. I wake up early in the morning, I just look to the sky. I wake up early in the morning, I just look to the sky and let the whole world know that I'm on my rise. I wake up early in the morning, I just look to the sky. I wake up early in the morning, I just look to the sky. I double LG, recognize me from number 83. Move like Russian KGB. The Kremlin defense tactics, I'm the captain. Decapitating heads with my actions gives me a fraction of satisfaction, but I'm belligerent, with an army of colonels and presidents who wanna mess with this, kill a sickness, the missing element, living in tenement with the pestilence, it's a definite, if it's 10 meters in our radius, we dead in it, I'm bringing roar back, ain't nothing delicate, fly as a pelican, smart as Copernicus, the officer and gentleman with elegant sentiments and decadent sentences, sending them messages to make them feel presentist. Concentrate on earning more than that. We demand respect. I double LG full of wet. Wake up early in the morning and just look to the sky and let the whole world know that I'm on my grind. I wake up early in the morning and just look to the sky. I wake up early in the morning and just look to the sky. I wake up early in the morning and just look to the sky and let the whole world know that I'm on my rise. I wake up early in the morning and just look to the sky. I wake up early in the morning and just look to the sky. What we're, what we're looking to, to find out is why should players have their own style? Because if we all did the same exact thing, <laughs> then we, we all would all know. Did the we same all would same know what thing. we were about to do before we did it, we, so then we couldn't. So it would be easy to defend and we couldn't score. Uh, that is a can, can you sign my hand? Can you sign my hand? Ah. Oh. Basically, 
getting together a concept which uh, when you look at most of the great creative players in the world they tend to grow up from the streets playing naturally um, themselves so what we're doing is we're trying to uh, put together a concept we're allowing children to have a natural way of developing skill uh, well, one of the things we're trying to promote in street soccer is obviously learning skills naturally. And, and when you learn skills naturally, you're learning implicitly, which means you can perform skills and tasks under pressure without any conscious thought getting in the way. Um, when you talk to any great creative player and they do something really good in a game to go around to the defenders, um, they, have a, they have the feedback of, I have no idea how I've done that. Um, and that's what we're trying to promote in these kids, is implicit play, where they just do it. They don't even know how they're doing it, they just do it. A bit like walking. Uh, well, one of the things that we base our theory and philosophy on is gardening, gardeners. Um, and what gardeners are very good at is growing plants. Um, but the irony is, is that they can't make plants grow. All they can do is provide conditions for growth. Um, and that is exactly what we do in our street soccer. Um, we make sure that the environment's right, the atmosphere right, and every child is comfortable and happy being in the place of training. We play music, our appearance to the children, um, the way we communicate to children. Um, all this has a massive impact in accelerating learning. The creative skill camps that we're now running across the states is, is, is a week's camp, um, Monday to Friday. Um, and what we're trying to do more than anything is make sure we bring back the love of the game for children. Understanding that there's some really, really exciting things you can do with a ball on your own. Um, so really, our, our mission for these camps is to make sure that children leave at the end of the week not stopping. They are going to carry on and be lifelong learners of, of, of soccer. Uh, well, the typical structure for our creative skill camps is again, we create an environment that kids want to be in. Um, at the beginning of the week, we introduce um, uh, the players to all different concepts of street soccer, the gameplay, the skills, and the skills they're going to be introduced to are probably the most up-to-date modern skills of the game, and this is what we really do base our coaching on, is the high-class demonstration, and what you'll see is most of our coaches do are players as well as coaches. Um, but also, on the back end of that, we do like to allow children to be creative and come up with their own skills. So really, the, the beginning of the week is basing around what is street soccer, what is the benefits of street soccer, and allowing children to be creative, be able to do things with the ball, which are just going to blow other people away. Um, and then towards the latter end of the creative skill camps, we like to make sure that they can actually apply this in games. So we have panic games, we have small-sided games, um, and what we do is we allow children to um, really get excited about the, the whole structure of gameplay and competition. So we make sure that coaches are managers for each squad, and we have battles, we have theme battles, we have major competitions and tournaments, and uh, the kids just really, really do get into it. Well, there's two things with street soccer. Firstly, um, the International Street Soccer Association is basically basing their theory and philosophy on making players more creative. Um, and this is one of the things we do see lacking in the coaches and the way they educate children. They seem to educate children out of creativity and using their imagination. Um, and the problems of this is it's not moving the game forward. We're teaching children the past and the problems of that, the game moves so fast, we need to keep up with the modern game, not teach what happened 10 years ago. Um, so really, our main, our main ethos behind these camps and our coaching is that we want to make sure children understand the person that they are and what they can achieve outside of the game as well. Um, we like to promote things like confidence, positive attitude, having, having um, the ability to understand that making mistakes is good and it's all part of learning. Um, and what we want to do is make sure that they are they're able to apply the skills from football that really do challenge them into life. So therefore, if they find the skill challenging um, and they accomplish this skill after time, if they find getting a job challenging and they accomplish this job after time, it's exactly the same benefits in football and in life.